profound on that because you asked me ways I could make money and I only gave you one. Yes. Yeah. Let me give you a few more. Theft in bars runs rapid. I mean, runs rampant. It's crazy. Actually, the volume of theft has a huge impact on whether or not the bar will even stay open. Alcohol goes out the back door, bottles of beer, bottles of whiskey, bottles of wine, individual glasses poured, don't get paid for. It's endless. I would suggest you put cameras if you're going to run a bar. I also would suggest you do inventory regularly to control the theft. Because what you'll be able to do is measure the volume of pours that were paid for and the volume of pours that went out. Okay? Pricing is critically important. The margins in a bar are much better than the margins dealing with food. In other words, we make more money from bar sales traditionally than we do from food sales. And therefore, everybody wants to sell more alcohol. So the margins are there, but you've got to run it right. The risk is super high. If you don't have people that know how to determine when someone's had enough, you can get sued like crazy. Well, so you've got to manage the risk. Doesn't hurt to have a menu that you control with food. Interestingly enough, if I can get you to eat salty food, I get you to drink more alcohol. Well, so simple things like having a bar menu that's a little bit higher in salt content. Not too high for the government crazies that are out there listening to me, but high enough so you'll drink a few more beers. Helps my risk, because now the person doesn't get too drunk. They've had food to mix with it. Helps my margins. I make more money from the sales of alcohol and food. <laughs>